I bring to you a video about the Mount Gretna roller rink in Mount Gretna, PA. They've been around for many years, many years. They have a long, rich history. And um, we were lucky enough to get a tour of the rink and get to talk to one of the owners. So without further ado, uh, Mount Gretna roller rink. <laughs> okay, yeah, because I do remember the stores, and we I do remember the stairs as a kid. We can never go up there. These yeah. walls are the same, I'll tell you that. I remember these colors of the car yeah. for the walls. This is crazy. Yeah, all this. These are the old skates right above you. <laughs> the old coat rack. Yeah. Still the same. All the carpet is still all the same from when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Amazing. It does feel like I did travel back in time. started the Farmers Encampment. Mm -hmm. The Farmers Encampment is now known as the Pennsylvania Farm Shop. Cool. There's a rail, the rails for trails back here. Yep. They would bring mm -hmm. the train down and walk the animals and that was the front of the building. And this is what the front of the building looked in 1929. Oh wow. It only became a roller rink in 1930. Yeah. It stopped the Farmers Encampment, moved to the Harrisburg Farm Show in 1917 so now between 1917 and 1930 they said it became a dance studio slash theater but in 1930s when it became a role huh. fifth oldest roller rink still in existence, but it's the oldest building used as a roller rink. Because all the other ones that are older than us were made as rinks from day one. Right. Not this, that's why I tell people it's square, because of that reason it wasn't made as a rink. It only became the rink in 1930. Mm -hmm. There was supposed to be Pennsylvania State Maximum Penitentiary was gonna be called Pennsylvania Alcatraz. That was supposed to be built in Mount Gretna. Oh my god. Oh, wow. It fell through. And if it would have went through, it probably would have changed the history. Oh, oh my god, Gretna. yeah. Most definitely. Yep. We would so. be, oh, we would have been screwed if that happened. 
Yeah, the, the whole PA, PA state would be screwed if we would know uh, with the pandemic and all the craziness today. They would be like, nope, like we're nope. we're burning this crap down. <laughs> yeah, it's really crazy. I heard you talking about the, the the hockey team. They started playing in 1932. That's the original sign they used to advertise. That's one of their original sweaters that they used. That is the original pup, one of the original pup. Oh, wow. Some of the hockey players. Yeah, it's really neat to know that this is what started the farm show, was the farmers in camp. Yeah, that's really Which A lot of people don't realize that. Okay. That's why when they come in, they go, I never saw Rippin Square. Well, yeah, it wasn't made for a roller rink. <laughs> so it doesn't have that rink size. It's oh, so this rink is square in shape? Yeah, if you stand out there and if you visually take the turn on each corner, it's square. Yeah. And that's why, because it wasn't made for a rink, so yeah. it was square. That's different. Yeah. That's really cool. Somebody in 1930 said, hey, this would be a really cool roller rink. <laughs> and it's been a ring since 1930. That's why the history of it, it just makes your heart thump to even think about having to close them doors. Yeah. yeah. And it ends. It does. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because now that history is gone. And it's like... Mm -hmm. Totally. So hopefully, we'll pull all the way through and we'll survive this, add this to the history of what the building has gone through for old as it is and hopefully it'll just be another history lesson for the grandkids and great grandkids exactly and, you know what I mean so they'll come in here and go oh yeah 2020 this <laughs> virus hit and it almost shut this thing down right but it survived and we continued on exactly and so. this is why I'm making this video for this because I said this is gonna be the last piece the last piece of my childhood if this goes and I will cry if it does go, because this was generation to generation of my family as well that lived here in Lebanon and Cornwall and all this near there, including my classmates. Mm -hmm. Now, the organ, I know he, Ray Long, I know he was part of history. I read something about him. Yes. Now, is this the only roller rink that actually has an organ no. playing? No. no. There are some other ones that have, they still do the organ. Oh, wow. So there's a lot of shuffle skaters that will follow them organs. Matter of fact, if you come down here. And I do remember this. We used to sit here as a kid and would have Italian ice here at these booths or sit around these benches. This used to be where we ordered the food. This is the food stand right here. That is my newest part of the ring wall. Those are all organists that play and have played here. Oh, wow. So what we're doing is we're starting to catch. An artifact on each one of the stuff. Kind of really crazy. If the virus wouldn't came through April, we were supposed to have a jamboree. Oh, Every wow. one of them organists, but Bill Clark would have been. Oh, wow. To play. So we were going to have, and that's when we were going to get all of them to sign their, their plates. But each one of them were going to be here. On for that jamboree, but of course that got canceled because April we were shut. So each one of those people played organ here at one point in time. Yes. Yep. And they will. Ray Long's the only one that's because he's not he's passed away. So that's the only one that will not get signed, but the rest of them, the signatures will get all put on. Now you said his daughter played. What's his daughter's name? Kathy. Okay, so Kathy Collins. I'm taking this. Yes. Okay. That's, that's Ray's daughter. Okay. You come out for the floor. Let's go see the organ. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, I remember speaking to there's, Ray's kids. There's Ray's mom and dad. I mean, yeah, Kathy's mom and dad. Okay. And there's Kathy. Aw. So, and when we got it, this was not fancy. <laughs> we fancied it up. Uh, kind nice. of make it really, and it's really pretty because it's got quite it great I kind of do remember it not being fancy enough. I kind of do. Uh, that's funny. It's got the lights up behind the curtain for it. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, I don't remember those lights. Those have to nope, be. Yeah, we put them on. We had a new banner made for across the headboard of it.
That organ is a 1963, and it's been here since 1966 from what I was doing. And wow. it still sings as pretty as it was brand new. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Wait, you know how to play piano. You should go up there and play. <laughs> I can't play. Yeah, right, and then I'll break it. And then I'll everybody, will, everybody will run. <laughs> <laughs>